Welcome to the section of the tutorial about dask arrays. So we are in the two underscore dask array folder inside Python for HPC. So you should have your notebook ready. So we will start with a quick digression uh, more about the direct acyclic graph, which are the core um, that give uh, Dask the capability of uh, knowing how to schedule properly um, the different uh, tasks in parallel uh, so that all the dependencies are satisfied. So we call, we import Dask array, we create a very simple one dimensional array of size 15 with three chunks each of uh, size five. So you see, so even with simple operations, so you see those are independent. So if, of course, if there are no arrows between them, that means that they are independent. So they can run in parallel, so they can be scheduled to execute on separate threads so that um, you can achieve performance more performance so then we might have aggregation functions like sum so you see here we are calling dot sum that looks exactly like numpy sum function but is actually implemented in dusk so knows about the parallelism and so you see here that the task is uh, ready to aggregate and notice that there are actually two sum operations here. There is a sum and there is a, an aggregation because first each chunk can be summed independently. So you have those five elements. So you can sum first the five elements of that chunk and then you can do the aggregation and sum the three of them together. Okay. Now let's try instead with the matrix. So this is has nine blocks, three in each uh, direction. And so you see how quickly become very complicated. So here we have a transpose and you see most of them, everything is independent here. But if we start, so you see here that um, there are two different types of graph. One is probably for the diagonal and one is for the off diagonal. And another interesting feature about Dask is that uh, sometimes parts of the computation can be reused by two different um, parts of the graph. And uh, Dask knows how to um, cache the result and you reuse them if needed. So it's um, also you can gain some performance uh, just from that. And so you see just adding a dot product um, or in some mean, you see how um, the gra direct acidity graph becomes very complicated. And so good thing is all of this is managed under the hood by Dusk, and so you can just focus on describing the computation that you want to do at very high level. So this is very different from other tools like MPI for Pi. So with MPI for Pi, you can also there run parallel computations, but it's extremely low level. So you have to implement every little detail and dependency between one task and the other to make sure that um, the that there are no bottlenecks, that there are no um, threads overwriting what's done by another thread, while here everything is described at high level and uh, dealt automatically by the scheduler. So let's now switch to one underscore multicore array. So this is a simple example again of Dask array. And sometimes if you have a NumPy version which is linked with MKL, so it's not the case uh, here, 
Um, and so NumPy inside this singularity container is single threaded. Sometimes you can have a multi threaded version of NumPy that under the hood is using a math library, MKL, which is multi threaded. But anyway, even if that is the case, the problem is that each computation is still uh, threads separately. So basically what you're doing is, let's say that you have the, you're calling uh, the sign operation. In that case, um, under the hood, the library is creating the threads, doing the processing in parallel, and then closing the threads and going ahead with the next computation. So it's not as efficient as a tool like Namba or Dask that instead can chain all of those computations together so that they are dealt with efficiently. So you see, this is pretty uh, heavy computation, takes uh, uh, 36 seconds. And first, let's try with Namba. So there is some overlap here between Namba and Dask, in particular about threading. And uh, so whenever you are optimizing on a single machine, then you can achieve similar results with both. So generally, if you can use Namba, that's generally more lightweight. And so you specify just parallel equal true, and you see how fast this runs by using multiple threads. But you can um, achieve something similar with Dask Array. So the main difference between using Namba and Dask is that with Namba, everything needs to fit in memory. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So it's still... Um, needs the whole array memory at the same time, while Dask does blocked algorithms and so can also work if, if the array doesn't fit the whole memory, so it's uh, processed a bit at a time. Okay, but in this case, the fits in memory, they are quite similar. So you see, it's pretty simple. You replace the cost to NumPy with the cost to Dask, and uh, you have a pretty decent performance also uh, with Dask. Okay, but Namba is generally more optimized. So you, if it fits in memory, then it's generally better to use Namba. And also, you don't have to choose the chunk size. That's another metaparameter that you have to think about whenever you use Dask. Instead, Namba is just going through the whole array with the threads automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. Let's now switch to two underscore multicore array out of core. So as I was saying before, we cannot process arrays larger than memory in Namba, but we can with Dask. So in particular here, we are creating a very large matrix. Okay, so this matrix is 300 gigabytes. And 300 gigabytes, that they don't fit in memory, not even on expanse. That has 256 gigabytes of RAM. Um, fortunately, we do not need to store the matrix in memory at the same time. So, and Dask can automate all of that for us. Okay, so it's going to just create some number of chunks in memory and process them to the end and then accumulate the result. And this works the same if, you are re if we are reading from disk, okay? Of course, reading 300 gigabytes from disk is a bit slow, so I, I haven't uh, implemented that case, but uh, this would work exactly the same. So if you, you have a, a terabyte of data on disk, and you can process that even on a single node by using Dask and loading just uh, blocks of data, some 
only some chunks of the data of the same, at the same time. Of course, for some algorithms, unfortunately, this doesn't work and you need to have all of the um, arrays uh, in memory at the same time. In that case, you have only the option to go fully distributed. But for a lot of algorithms, you can get away with um, doing a blocked algorithm. And um, doing it with Dask doesn't uh, necessitate you to implement that manually, but is um, automated with Dask. Uh, 